Hello YouTube world, it's me Shantae53 and I'm back with a bad update. So the last time I talked to you, I weighed 237 pounds, I have gone up to 244, which is the biggest I've ever been. So um, I don't think the counting calories is working or I know I wasn't writing them down some days and I was eating some bad stuff. And, Sometimes you don't know what calories you're eating or, you know, to even write them down and it's just not working. But when I lost weight the last time when I lost 30 pounds, I didn't eat after 6.30 and I just ate until I wasn't uh, hungry anymore. I didn't eat till I was full. I didn't, I ate till I wasn't hungry. So I ate a little bit of my meal or at least make a point to eat half of whatever I was eating. And I ate more sensibly. Uh... I've been eating a lot of lasagna, spaghetti, macaroni and cheese. We've been cooking out, so we've been eating a lot of beef hamburgers, and that's not good. And I've been catching cake here and there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on my diet where I don't eat after 6.30. So if I don't eat by 6.30, I just miss a meal, which could help. And um, since I'm diabetic, if I miss that meal, I may just have to eat like a granola bar and some yogurt and just take my shot if I need to. But um, still, it wouldn't be a whole meal, which would help. So I have to do something about this. Like I said, this is the biggest I've ever been. And I want to get down to 180. So I got to lose 60 pounds. But first, I want to get down to um, 190. So that would be 50 pounds and actually my first goal would be to get under 200 because I haven't been under 200 in years probably since before I had kids which my son is 14 so 14 years ago um, I haven't been on, under 200 pounds so I'm going to introduce this diet plan as well as try to run a mile a day um, eventually try to kick that up to three miles. My doctor told me I should be running three miles a day. So I want to try to do a 5K, which is three miles. So I'm just going to work up to training for that and try to get lean so it's easier for me to run. And I'm going to look at it like that instead of just, oh, i got to lose weight, I'm overweight and stuff. Because you can see that my face is fat. If I sit up like this, you can see my chin has gotten bigger, my face is a little fatter. Um, I cut my hair. I really don't like it. I messed it up. My hairstylist cut it, and then I cut it some more, so it's really short, and it doesn't look right on me. It's horrible. So you'll probably see me in this wig a lot. Um, so like I said, I'm going to not eat after 6.30, eat half my meals or less, eat sensibly, like for dinner, eat some chicken and a vegetable, um, maybe a starch, but um, mainly a chicken and a vegetable instead of eating pasta, spaghetti, and lasagna. Sorry, my allergies are just killing me. And um, I'm going to run at least a mile. Of, I think five days a week is good for now. So through the week and take a, a break on the weekend, I think. Um... I mean, it's really serious now. Like, if you don't watch what you eat, if you don't control your diet, you can balloon up. It, it just creeps up on you, and it's harder to take it off than it is to put it on. So, um, I got to stick to it this time because I'm getting married next year, August 22nd, 2015. I did meet the love of the life of my life. I know uh probably I know if you watch from my other videos, you may see a video where I said I didn't know if I could find the person I really wanted because I was bigger and I felt like I would be lowering my standards by trying to be with someone when I was bigger, but I found someone that loves me for me, whether I'm big or small. His name is Trent Kelly. And he um, is just a sweetheart. Uh, he makes me laugh all the time. He's got a job. Um, so that's good. Um, he is um, very supportive. 
through all my situations with me being diabetic and everything um so i really love him and um so i have to lose weight for the wedding i want to be a size 14 by the time the wedding comes i want to be slimmer so that's another reason why and i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm gonna have my wedding at saint peter and paul um banquet hall they seem to be pretty affordable and it's a nice facility and they offer the linen for the tables and napkins and do seat covers um if i don't do that it'll be roma banquet hall if i have the extra eight hundred dollars at the time um i will have the roma roma banquet hall and have them cater it so um that's uh some of my considerations and i just been going crazy just planning and waiting i've been so excited i went to the flower shop and picked out the bouquet and everything today it's a lot of money um but um i may have a little bit of money at that time i'm expecting to get some money so um hopefully everything will work out but i did turn down a sausage biscuit from McDonald's because I, I had been stopping at McDonald's for sausage biscuit with cheese with grape jelly like every morning so I turned it down today I said I'm not gonna do it I had a half a bagel with a little butter on it and um, that should be fine for breakfast it's not real filling um, but it keeps me from being hungry um, it's fills me up. I think I think it'll hold me over till lunchtime. So um, it wasn't very much. A whole bagel is doing a little too much. That's a lot of bread. So I ate half. So so far for today, I'm doing good. I'm gonna buy some chicken for dinner, and probably some um, green beans with potatoes chopped up in it. And usually my sister, she throws the bacon in too, but I really don't need that fat right now. I don't want to turn a good vegetable into something that's fattening. So chicken, green beans, and potatoes, and that's it. I don't know what I'm going to eat for lunch. I have some tuna in the refrigerator. I really don't want to eat that, but... It's more sensible. It's a sensible thing to eat. Maybe I could throw it in a salad or something like that. That would make it taste a little bit better. Make it more filling. Tuna doesn't fill me up. I know I'm not trying to get filled up, but I'm trying to at least, you know, be able to eat enough so that I'm not hungry at my next meal. So, I don't know. I may make a sandwich if I got some sandwich meat for lunch or something. Or I may have to go get some. But, um... But that's what I'm going to eat for lunches. I want to do more um, sandwiches like with lunch meat, um, soup, cream of chicken soup. I have some cream of chicken soup that might be a good alternative and put a piece of bread in it. Um, that's pretty good. And for dinners, leaner meats. Like I've been eating a lot of hamburger beef, um, making tacos with hamburger because the store um it's close by and the hamburger meat is cheap so i've just been going buying hamburger meat rather than my ground turkey so i have to stop that but um yeah i need to do more chicken um even if it's fried fried chicken is better than beef i think in my opinion so um i'm gonna try I'll try this time around and maybe I'll do a video twice a week I think that will help me if I do a video twice a week then I'm accountable midway through the week and for the end of the week so you'll hear from me in a couple days on if I've lost a pound or so I expect I should be losing about a pound a day that's usually what I lose when I, when I do a diet like this um, I see a pound a day come off, if not pound every other day. But um, especially with me being as big as I am right now at 244, 
I should easily see a pound a day if I stick to my diet and just be sensible about what I eat. No more cake. No more sweets. It's not good for my diabetes anyway. No more sweets. Um, chips has been my, um, I guess, my treat since I can't really eat that many sweets, but I have to stop the chips because it's a lot of carbs and um, chips, and it's just not a good food choice. Um, you, you just filling up, but um, I know when I was in the hospital, they would give you chips for a snack at night, so I would have three meals, and that's when I really lost some weight too when I was in the hospital. Three meals a day, they don't cook very fattening foods. If you got a hamburger, it was very lean hamburger, but they cook a lot of chicken, a lot of stir fries, um, and that's one thing. I, I want to cook more stir fries, but my boyfriend, my fiance, does not like stir fries, so that's a problem. But he's gained weight since he's been with me too, 20 pounds, so he needs to eat stir fry. So guess who's eating stir fry? <laughs> so... um uh, also, so it was three meals a day, and I would eat at like 8 a.m., uh, around 11.30, and 5.30. So that was very early, eating before 6 o'clock, eating at 5.30, and then I wouldn't have anything to eat until snack at night, which was 9 o'clock p.m. Um, a snack would either be a granola bar, which I would eat half of. Or a half a bag of the small Cheetos, like a small bag of Cheetos, um, or a piece of cheese, which if I ate the cheese, I would eat half of it. Or a yogurt. I would eat my whole yogurt, though. I want my whole yogurt. I love yogurt. And yogurt is good for sunburns if you eat it, and it's also good to keep yeast infections away. So, yogurt is delicious. Nice snack. So I think I'm going to stick to something like that, like when I was in the hospital, the regimen, um, eating, um, except the, the snack at night. I don't want to do the snack at night. I really don't need it. Um, but if I do get hungry, I will allow the small snack, but I really don't want to eat after 6.30. That's what I want to try to do. So, Well, this video is going on a little bit long, so... I'm going to sign off. You guys, if you want to diet with me, let me know how you're doing. I need some encouragement because I have fallen off the bandwagon. So, all right. Um, hopefully, this video helps you and you can watch me slim down because I've done it before. I've lost 30 pounds before, so I'm going to do it again. But now I have to go to 60. I always get to like around 200 pounds. I get to like 207 and then I stop. I think I don't have to diet no more. And then I start eating whatever I want. And um, that's not the case. I need to really kick it in the fifth gear when I get to 207 because I plateau. So um, I need to really diet more when I get to that 207 mark this time. I'd have to watch that when I get down to 207, 205. Because before I was 237 and I got down to 207 doing the same diet. So it works. All right, and you don't have to starve yourself, but you don't have to overeat. You know, getting full. I mean, in America, we use very big portions of food, and eating less would help. So, um, I'm gonna try it out, and I'll let you know in a couple days. It's Thursday, so I'm gonna say Saturday. I'll do another video and let you know how it's going. All right. See you later. Comment, write, subscribe.